the PlayStation Classic, the mini console that we all love to hate, or at least back in December we did when it first launched at 100 bucks. Holy crap, what was Sony thinking, right? So this thing was a disaster, and it was saved by the community of hackers and modders. I'm not sure if Sony has made any money off of this thing, but they do owe a debt of gratitude to all the people who have fixed the issues with this thing and actually made it a desirable system because with just what they put on it and how they developed this thing, ah, I mean, no. But now these things are going for about 20 bucks. You're finding them on Amazon, Best Buy. People are just trying to clear these things out. Pretty soon, they're going to give these away with Happy Meals at McDonald's. I could see it now. But we've taken a look at a lot of things with the PlayStation Classic. We've enjoyed it immensely. It is one of my favorite classic consoles out there. Really do dig this little bastard. Love it. Love it a lot, you little fucker. But we've also taken a look at some hacks, some pre-builds, all sorts of craziness, auto bleam, bleam sync. And we've also taken a look at these little things, these true blue PlayStation Classic pregnancy tests. So what are these things? We've done a couple other videos. I do have a playlist if you're interested in learning more on what's on the other packs. But uh, today we're taking a look at this newly released weed pack. 64 gigabytes includes 101 games. So if you're not familiar, this thing is just a pre-made plug and play drive for your PlayStation Classic that has games built into it. No hacking, no modding necessary. And that kind of leads me to, you know, I've I've seen a lot of people's thoughts on these things. Some people are like, they're rip off. Some people are like, you know what? I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I don't want to be downloading them ROMs. So this works for me and I am happy with it. And more power to you. You know, there's no legal gray area with these things. This company, obviously, they're doing some stuff that's, that's not very, uh, shall we say, legal, but people just don't care. Hey, I bought one easily off of Amazon, just like the last one, just boom, right to my door two days later. And so here it is. We have the True Blue Mini Weed Pack. We've taken a look at the uh, Crackhead Pack and the Fight Pack. You know, wh what a wonderful set of names, right? I guess you got to come up with something, but there we go. The Weed Pack, the newest released version. Uh, like I've said before, these are just cheap little USB drives. Nothing to worry about using them. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors and weird stuff that this installs scripts on your system, does all sorts of weird stuff. It does not. The only thing it has is some kind of weird copy protection. So you cannot pirate these pirated games. They sold your boy it up like crazy with this thing. Got to protect those uh, Sony properties and whatever other companies, right? They don't want a competitor. They don't want you buying this thing, dumping the games, and then sending it back and getting your money back for it. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Now, you know, a lot of people, they prefer this. Uh, you know, they're fine with the selection of games. You cannot change anything on these drives. My preference is building my own or using, uh, you know, somebody else's pre-built drive like we have talked and talked about and looked at on the channel quite a bit in the past. That's my preference because we could do a lot of cool things with that. AutoBleam uh, 3 just came out and we will be doing some content on that. So, hey, no matter how you're looking at this, we have content on the channel. If you want to see what's on these damn little things, more power to you. We got videos on it, and we're going to be looking at the contents of this right now. Uh, if you're also interested in building your own or finding out about pre-builds that cost nothing, we got you covered. So take a look at my PlayStation Classic playlist. Take a look at my True Blue Mini playlist. But right now, let's plug this little bitch in and check it out. See what games we got going on. Let's do it. Well, 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 I just turned on the system to start recording this portion of the video, and look at what we're greeted to some bug life game and a bunch of blank boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot and see what happens. So here we go, let's try this again. Hopefully, no issues this time. I'm not sure what happened, but you know what? What can you expect? Oh, press select and triangle, they put that in there. Wow, okay, look, now this time, the half of the game's showing. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Oh my God. Maybe if we reboot one more time, the rest of the games will show their box arts. Let's try it. Okay, next attempt. Hopefully everything's gravy this time. Jeez, what the heck is going on with this thing? I did find it interesting that it does have that select triangle notification on there. It does say True Blue Mini on the thing. That is crazy. Did you see that? Like they, they changed it up. So 
they did some customizations. I don't think that was on the previous versions. And okay, this time we got all the box arts. Very interesting. It just took, what, three boots to get it? Each time I did it, I unplugged the power, unplugged the USB drive, plugged the USB drive back in, plugged the power back in, let the, the light turn uh, orange, and then I powered on. Now we got it. Took several attempts, but now we've got it. I do have the uh, the USB drive plugged into the Player 2 port. I'm not using the OTG adapter, uh, but if you are interested in learning how to use a USB drive from the back of the system, it's in my playlist, yo. But let's... Uh, Let's get to the beginning here and see what games are on this thing before it crashes on me. Uh, Bugs Life, Alfred Chicken, Lone in the Dark, Ark the Lad 1, 2, and 3. Uh, they do use some nice box art uh, images for these games, so I give them that. Uh, Cabela's, Cabela's Big Game Hunt. Nice. Castlevania. So this one, the Weed Pack, so far it's looking like uh, they really mixed it up with genres this time. They, they got you covered on a little bit of everything. Descent, Disc, Discworld 1 and 2, you got me sold. I love those games on the PlayStation, even though who knows if it'll work every time I boot this thing up. Jeez, you, you, that was just nuts. Air Gates, Air Gates, God bless the ring, mofo. Awesome game. Final Doom, Fluid. I'm not familiar with that one, but there we go. Hopefully we have a fluid experience here today. Galaxian 3. Now here's the games, not reading them all off. Just want you guys to take a look, see what we got. Uh, a lot of interesting ones, a lot of good ones. This pack does seem pretty pretty neat with the, the selection of games we have here. You know, a little bit for everybody. Ninja Shadow of Darkness. Wow, Parodius. Philosoma. Pong. Holy schmoles. Robocod James Pond 2. Wow. Roscoe McQueen. Firefighter Extreme. Saga Frontier 2. Where's Saga Frontier 1? I love Saga Frontier. Sheep Raider. Sim Theme Park. Spice World. What? Uh, I, I mean, I was going to say I hate to admit it, but I don't give a shit. I'm admitting it proudly. I owned that game back when it came out. And I played the shit out of it, too. Spice Girls. Yeah. Spider-Mans. Star Trek. Oh, my God. Star Wars Masters of Terrace Kasai. That game sucks balls. The Phantom Menace, Syndicate Wars, Tales of Destiny 2, uh, The Test Drives, Raiden Project, Theme Hospital, Tobal Number 1, Tom Clancy's, some Tomb Raiders, Toy Story 2, Valkyrie Profile, Vigilante, Vigilante Second Offense, Warcraft 2, hmm, XCOM, XCOM, two XCOMs, UFO Defense of Terror from the Deep, and back to the beginning. So we've got a selection of games here. Let's just randomly pick something. Beat Manias on here too. Interesting. That's a good one. Let's find something and just start playing it. What Command and Conquers? Let's there. Okay. Let's just uh, let's jump into Croc. Let's see if Croc plays. Boot up. Don't give me no problems here. Hopefully everything's working. I don't. I can't really speak to if this was. I mean, it was like a one. It wasn't a one off. It was like a one two off took three attempts to get this thing to boot up properly but i can't really speak on why that happened i mean i have my system plugged in exactly how i normally do it a lot of times i just use the otg adapter this time i went in through the usb 2 port which is what it tells you to do um, and which is standard if you haven't uh, modified your system for otg support um and this system i don't even have otg support on it so this hasn't been modified in any way so i'm not sure what the hell happened there but hey at, at least you're on a little bit of notice here that there, there could be an issue i'm not sure never had a problem booting anything on this playstation classic before i have two playstation classics uh one with otg one without the one without has never been touched by like anything internal so i'm not sure what the hell happened here but let's let's just get into it see if this game plays and then test out a couple more and then I'm gonna I'm gonna reboot it again at the end before we we finish just to see. So looking looking pretty good. I mean, can't complain. You know, we don't have all the support from. Uh... Did this thing just fucking crash on me? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? That shit. That shit... Woohoo! The game closed because of a mofo and a boofo and error because an error occurred. Restore default set. If the problem persists, select. What the hell? 
Oh my god. Come on, you mofos at the True Blue Mini Incorporated. You guys jacked this one up, man. What the hell is going on with this? Find Final Doom. Let's let's check out Final Doom. Let's see if this game. Come on, man. I'm pressing the damn button. It's taking forever. Let's see if this game crashes on us. True Blue, I'm suing you. You sold me somebody else's games and it doesn't even work. What the frick is wrong with you? Good luck, right? I mean, I could return it to Amazon, but I mean, the other packs that I've used, no issues as far as booting or crashing this thing. What the hell's going on? Is this the, okay? I was gonna say, did this game just like not work either? Man, let's just let's just jump into it. I'm not trying to play these games seriously. I just want to see them working. Holy crap! See, this is this is gonna be one of the benefits, I guess. To uh, how do we shoot? Oh, there we go. This is gonna be one of the benefits to um, doing your own setup because uh, you could. Download a pre-built. There's games on it that don't work, which we really haven't found that many. Um, and the guys that have been doing the packs, like if they found something wrong, they fixed it. So like the current packs that are out there right now that are just downloadable and throw them on your own USB drive, uh, there haven't been any issues. And they're fully customizable. And you find an issue, you could fix it, get rid of the game, and it doesn't show up anymore. Uh, find a new version of the game. I'm just getting my ass handed to me. Find a new version of the game, put it on there, or just change it out, back up your, your saves, use RetroArch. You know, there's all sorts of stuff, especially with the newest version of AutoBleam. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff we can do. So far, this is this is working, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my ass handed to me here, but you know, whatever, dude. Uh, get good. Shut up. All right, let's get out of that. How do we get out of it? Okay, there we go. Okay, we did save a resume point, so that, that works. Man, Galaga. I don't know about some of these games. Got the Harry Potters on here. Cardia is a good one. Lost Vikings. That's cool. Um, let's, let's try Mega Man. Let's see how that works. See if that boots us out. Oh my god. Unbelievable. And such a solid setup of games. I mean, sure, not every game on here you're going to care about, but man. Something wrong here. I don't know. But hey, Final Doom worked. I'm glad you guys get to see this stuff. You know, I don't want you just buying things. You know, even if you're interested, I want you to see these things that happen. Like, I mean, there's no way I could have set this up. This is my first time booting this damn thing up. And it's just, it's giving me these issues, guys. But I'm glad you're getting to see that. Make as best of a dish as you can. Um, you know, if you're interested in something like this. If you want to buy this, any of these True Blue mini packs... Like, for a while, the only place you'd get them from was, like, Chinese companies. And you're kind of shit out of luck, you know? If it doesn't work or you have problems, they're not going to answer your emails. They don't care. They got their money. Like, they don't give a shit about you. But when you order something, if it ships and sold from Amazon, which this thing shipped from Amazon. It wasn't sold by them. It was a third-party seller. But it was in Amazon's possession. I can easily just return this, get my money back. So if you do buy something like this, no matter what the pack, I highly recommend, you know, you don't have to buy it from the link I put in my description, but if you find it somewhere else and you want to buy it, just check and see if it's something where if it doesn't work, you can get your money back. This thing cost me, I believe like 21 or 22 bucks. So it's not a ton of money, but it's still just those few issues kind of really makes me wary. If this thing didn't have an issue to begin with, I'd be like, okay, it works. And I wouldn't really think much about it. Just like, oh, I could do better by making my own build. But just putting this thing in and instantly having issues doesn't give me any kind of confidence that this thing's going to last, even with it working right now, even though on this boot, we did have that issue with croc freezing. So, I mean, it's kind of a risk. So... I like to be able to, if I'm spending my own money on something uh, like I did with this in the previous version, be able to return it if something's wrong, get my money back. So there's that. So far, this game, I mean, it looks good. You know, nothing, nothing to complain about kicking these balls around. I feel like I got my balls kicked buying this thing, you know? Let's get out of that before we, we uh, finish this video. Resume point saved, so that, that works. Tron Bone, Tron Bone up in here. Uh, we got Parodius Ninja Shadow of Darkness. Let's boot that punk up.
see what to do. <sighs> but yeah, let's let's see if the I just I'm just curious to see what this game looks like, you know? I don't even know what this game is. Ninja Shadow of Darkness. Yes. It's still kind of cool. I'm seeing some games that might be like, you know what? I want to put this on my own build. So, hey, $20 well spent, even though I'll get my damn money back. So I'm going to return this thing right after this video. Screw you, True Blue Mini. And I'm going to, and I'm going to, never mind. It's going to say something very, very awful that I shouldn't say. <sighs> Whatever. Come on, bitch. Oh, cool. Is that a squirrel? What the fuck is that? I don't know what the hell that was. Interesting. Never, never heard of this game before. I'm sure I'll sit there and say, I never heard of this game before. And somebody will be, somebody will be like, what? You call yourself a gamer? You never heard of my favorite game in the entire world? How dare you? Unsubscribe, thumbs down. And I'm going to send you a freaking potato to your P.O. box. Please don't do that. If you do, make sure, you know, got some sour cream and chives and some bacon. Make a nice little baked potato. Mm, put it on a little spit fire grill like right here. Start, mm, step on that fire. Over here, Raiden. I don't know what this game is, but it, it's pretty interesting. Seems cool. Good thing it hasn't crashed yet, but who knows? I could play it for another... 10 minutes and it'll crash i i you know it is what it is let me let me turn this this thing off let me power off and power back on let's see if this thing boots up properly come on bitch turn off ps classic remove power cable before inserting or removing the true blue mini usb okay this time maybe i just had to initialize i i don't know uh, because I did like leave it off for a few minutes before I jumped back into the recording, um, unplugged everything, plugged it back in, just like I just got it out of the box. Maybe some had to initialize. I don't know, but Hey, Oh, let's see if our save states are still there. Yeah, they are. So there you go. You know, there might be a risk with this one. Maybe they kind of messed something up. Maybe I just got a bunk stick that has some problems. That sounds like I need to get a doctor to check that out. A bunk stick, <laughs> but, uh, there you go. My thoughts, I'm passing on this one. I'm returning it, getting my $20 back. Buy me a mother mm, burrito or something. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather spend my money on something I'll get some use out of. But hey, it is what it is. Just wanted to share this with you guys. If they drop like another new version, I might check it out. But I'm kind of done with this stuff other than looking at the, the newer stuff with Auto Bleam. We'll be taking a look at some builds, all sorts of cool stuff like that. In the very near future, we have some content lined up concerning this system but hey there you go true blue mini weed pack boom really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me with that said i will catch you guys next time peace out bye bye and boom bye true blue mini